What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In the past month or so, I've done a lot of videos on inverted roller coasters, including Dueling Dragons, Phython, Eurostar, etc. And as I've done more research, I've been finding more and more of them all over. With that in mind, a common manufacturer of these rides is Bolliger and Mabillard, and they produced 32 inverted roller coasters starting in the early 1990s. Rides like Raptor at Cedar Point, Alpengeist at Busch Gardens, Banshee at Kings Island are all examples of these coasters that gained fame and still flood the community in pictures and presence today. However, there are a few that became rarities and oddities, becoming elusive and forgotten, and today's video is none other than one of those. With 5 inversions, a height of over 100 feet, and a layout I'll bet many of you have probably experienced before, my enthusiasts know what I'm talking about, this extreme invert operated for 13 years and has quite an extensive history not only in its park, but the years leading up to its final year in operation. But what is this coaster, and where did it come from? This is the story of Kuwait Entertainment City's Lightning. On March 14, 1984, in the Middle Eastern country Kuwait, a small amusement park known as Kuwait Entertainment City was set to open with a few attractions and an experience geared towards families. Though offering relatively little to do so, its first six years in operation were prosperous and saw much attention from the media and general public alike. New attractions were being added yearly and the park increased in size and budget. However, this was all fun and well until the period during and after Iraq's invasion and occupation of Kuwait beginning in 1990. And what happened during this time has to be quite honestly one of the weirdest and most bizarre events that I've ever heard of in the community. Iraqi forces pillaged and vandalized the park's property from 1990 to 1991, so just one year, taking the area by storm and took many of the park's attractions, shipping them back to Iraq. Most of, if not all of these stolen rides ended up in Al Zahra's dream park in Baghdad, including the park's crown metal products, locomotive, and railway cars. These locomotives have been built in the early 1980s and were worth some pretty good prize money. Luckily, before those or too much else could be sold off, Iraqi forces were eventually forced out of Kuwait and decisively defeated during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. Kuwait Entertainment City then began a recollection of its former attractions and in 1994 reopened to the public. However, it wasn't until 2004 that today's topic, Lightning, was installed at the park. And now I'll proceed to talk more about that. First of all, and I'll briefly cover the layout, but for those of you who know the layout of the Batman clones, this is one of those. Yes, this is the lost Batman clone that eluded the community for most of its lifetime. The ride starts off with a left hand drop into a loop, preceding a zero G roll, another loop, and some mixed twists and turns before hitting two wing overs. Interestingly enough, when I asked some of my enthusiast friends about it though, none of them knew this coaster ever even existed. Which prompted me of course to do some further research, and I found that the problem started even on its opening day. For one, I don't exactly know if the park knew this, but VNMs are expensive, and I'm not sure who budgeted the coaster, but it definitely wasn't within their intended spending cost. Nonetheless, the coaster did prove to be a big hit during its initial years in operation, and ran for the following 13, which is actually pretty impressive. The park did break even on the coaster in the 8th year of operation, and were mildly profitable up until 2014. However, the park hadn't exactly been receiving new attractions, and for whatever reason, many of them began requiring heavily intensive maintenance at the time. And so in 2016, the decision was made to close the park for extensive quote renovations, with no further information on an opening date or anything of that nature. And for those of you who don't know, when a smaller park like this one closes for quote renovations, it usually is not that good of a sign for the park. That being said, the park did follow in this trend, and for the next 4 years, the park and all of its rides sat abandoned in the desert heat with very minimal attention or care. Photos released of the trains in the station at the time also confirmed this, and in 2020, the entire park was dismantled and scrapped. Pretty abrupt, right? There was an attempt to save lightning, however, and half of the ride was successfully put into storage, but according to a YouTube video released by an amusement park enthusiast, the majority of lightning was quote, lost in the process and presumably sold for scrap. Not all is lost though, and there is actually a happy ending to the story. On the same plot of land in which Kuwait Entertainment City was built and demolished, a new one will soon be built that is currently under construction known as the New Entertainment City. Outdoor theme parks, indoor theme parks, indoor snow parks, water parks, an aquarium, dolphinarium, museum and planetarium, high street rail, a shopping mall, luxury district, icon hotel, sports and international festival zones will all be part of the New Entertainment City. Man, that was a lot. When the project is finished, the new entertainment city will be one of Kuwait's most popular entertainment destinations, though it is unknown if any roller coasters will be present there at this moment. 
Either way though, I am certainly excited about it and hope to see some further progress on the park soon. I know this video was short and information on lightning itself was limited, but the history of it and its park is certainly bizarre and I hope you all learned something new. As always, it's been a major pleasure creating new content for all of you and I'd like to invite you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. Or if we have any other content you guys liked, we'd appreciate that as well. Stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days and I will also be at Six Flags Magic Mountain on Monday. So, if you guys want to stop in and say hi, we'll be there and we'd be happy to hang out and catch a couple rides with you guys. Until then though, hope you guys have a good rest of your days, and we will see you all there, hopefully at Magic Mountain, but if not, in the next video for sure. See ya!